Hello everyone. This is Mandion Astral Oracles. There's points if you can spot the cows and the windmills in the background. In yesterday's uh, Pleiadian uh, live stream, someone asked uh, for an energy update about um, this coming month. And I find these energy updates uh, very useful myself, so I'd like to actually get better uh, at doing them as a regular thing. So uh, without further ado, let's hear from our buddy Umdam and uh, the rest of the Arcturian Council. And um, thank you for being here, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy. Yes, hello dear friends, earthlings, people of this planet. I'm so happy to be with you, I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy to bring love from the Arcturian Council to humankind. I'm so happy to bring the guidance, assistance and blessings of the Arcturian Council to you sweet human beings tuning into this. And see, this may be a month where you feel you need this guidance, assistance and blessing. Many of you are recovering literally from physical ailments. Many of you have been going through great upsets and upheavals leading up to this month and this point. And now you arrive at the doorstep of a new era of your lifetime. Indeed, a new era of humanity's lifetime. But I will return to that. I am Umlam of the Arcturian Council and I'm so happy to be with you. I speak of these energies in this coming time, so the time cycle, this 12th of your year, you call the month of June. It is a month of solstice on both the northern and southern hemisphere, and it is a month of shifts. See, often you seem to intuitively sense that you complete a cycle not only around the Christmas solstice, but also around the solstice of St. John, as it is known in these parts. It is the idea of the sun rising high on the sky and bringing you light and guidance, but also shouting you down with its clarity, with its searing bright light you sometimes feel it gets to be a little too much sometimes it even burns you or dehydrates you or causes a headache from tension it's all that sunshine that's seeping into your experience can you really handle it is it something that you're comfortable with is it something that you wish to move into and experience it's available all the time, but you have moved into a place where you are sort of sick of dark skies and grey clouds and you want the sunshine to come in. So how does sunshine look for you? What flavor does it have? How does it make your body relax? What, are, what is the sweetness that you taste when you feel everything charged with energy, when you feel hope, prosperity, opportunity, indeed love seeping into your life what will you do then will you look at this as something that you have manifested or will you cower away from it also seeing this manifestation of yours as something that's almost too positive to handle almost too expensive to integrate and therefore allow yourself to ground and grounding means a lot of things for a lot of people, but most of all it is to be taking, taken literally. It is to realize that the mother is a force that upholds you and guides you. It is to say that there is a love present that supports your every step as you move about. It is to say that there are energy present for you that you can subsist on, that is physical energy, the energy of foodstuffs. Appreciate these things as you move about and into this new era of yours. 
collectively this is a time of conspiracy see you we don't necessarily mean conspiracy as a elect council of nefarious individuals gathering together in secret rather we mean it as a time where human beings perceive that there are hidden orders governing their lifetimes there is seems to be an authority that is regulated not from well the bottom up or from human society but well regulated from above descending from a power far beyond human reach and then coming in to touch and limit your lives it manifests in your transportation systems it manifests in your financial systems it manifests in your educational systems indeed it manifests in many of your professional systems and so all these systems what are they made up were made up of what are they made of what are the components and forces that uphold them and tie them together how do you discern this well you look at the force the emotion that arises within you with a negative charge when perceiving something and then you perceive this negative emotion as an entity of itself and following this trail of breadcrumbs you indeed come to that conspiracy of the lizards the reptilian conspiracy the conspiracy that will forces that they harvest low energies of humankind they seem to be able to override and dominate many impulses of higher intuition or higher discernment many of these faculties seem to have been suspended suspended at humanity at large and this is something you are being confronted with so who controls the innards of the pyramid who sits within the alignment chamber of power and who then allows for their ideas to descend and control the minds of men as they order their days with each other and with themselves this is the question you can ask and who will lead you to it who will lead you to the secret chambers these secret underwater chambers that lead into the pyramids the dolphins of course follow the dolphins or ride the unicorns to the top and ascend with the unicorns to Orion and there tap into that energy field that feeds the pyramid and do some galactic alignment of your own these are the two paths ascend above the atmosphere or dive deep beneath the waves these are the two paths that it would be helpful for you to take as you go into this month this month of great possibility of great light and luminosity you see it shining down upon this body speaking to you right now this is the body that our energy is being merged into right now and as this energy merges into all of you in individual forms and guises but collectively merging into you from your galactic brethren and from your higher mind you becoming multidimensional and having dna codes activated as this happens you may feel a little perturbed but you may also feel that your physicality is changing to encompass a greater flow of energy to allow for a greater breath of life force to allow for greater manifestation you are on the path to the stars but you will have to go past the chambers of the mind and learn how to use these in alignment with the heart and with the energies that create life forms that reside at the bottom of your spine in your genitalia and behind your navel these are some of the things that you are exploring as a species you are learning that within the secret chamber there sits little men pulling levers that you yourself are allowing to magnetize your existence and twist and turn you in different directions and so returning 
to your own power and accessing the pyramid with the help of those benevolent animal guides with those benevolent fantastical magical forces that stand by your side and at your disposal ready to assist you doing this you come into the pyramid of yourself you come into the pyramid of your heart and from there you ascend into the stars you see everything as a whole and you see your place in it and from that place you move into the world in powerful peace Therefore, dear human beings, I, Umlam of the Arcturian Council, I've been very happy to provide you with this message. I've been very happy to play around with the poetry of your language in expressing the things that we transmit to you as information helpful to you on your own paths that you decide by discerning where to go. Therefore, go to places that you love, and we will meet you there in love.